Google last week announced its latest version of Android, Android Marshmallow or Android 6.0. And as per the usual, they released the software images of that version of Android for all of their Nexus devices on their developer website. Now, if you're wondering what those software images are for, well, basically there are two ways that you can update your Android device. One is through OTA, which is over the air, uh, and that's how anyone that doesn't have a Nexus device kind of has to do it. Or uh, with a system image, you can do it manually. Now, Google will eventually release the OTA and it will come to all the devices within the next few weeks. Or you can use the system images that just got released and install it manually. Now, the one downside to doing the manual installation, though I must warn you, is that it does erase your device. So if you desperately want the new version and you're very impatient, like this guy, then I'm gonna show you really quick in this video how to manually flash Android Marshmallow onto a Nexus device. All right, before you begin, I'm gonna use Windows to do this as most people have it. Um, but you can do this on Mac as well, just by following the Mac ADB tutorial that I linked to below for setting up ADB and using terminal instead of command prompt and putting a dot slash in front of the commands below in terminal instead of command prompt and you'll be all set. Okay, in order to get started, you need to set up ADB. Um, so you can click this link here to be taken to my how to set up ADB in the easiest possible way tutorial. It's very quick. Uh, go through that. There's a video too, just so it's really easy to do. Uh, once you're done there and you can see a serial number when you type ADB devices into your command prompt or terminal, then you can come back here to continue. Then we're gonna head to the Android developer site by clicking the link here beneath the video. And you're gonna download the one for your specific device. Make sure not to flash the wrong one. So I have a Nexus 6, which is called Chemu. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here to get the latest version, which is 6.0.0. Click that link there and save that to your desktop. Okay, then you're gonna right click it and hit extract, then click okay, and wait for it to extract. Then open that newly extracted folder and the one inside, and you're gonna grab all of these files. And we're going to right click and copy. Then you're gonna to go to wherever ADB and Fastboot are installed on the computer. Now if you did my ADB setup and you're using a Windows computer that's gonna be under this PC or my computer depending on what version you have, then C drive, then ADB and you'll see adb and fastboot.exe both inside here. We need to right click and paste all of those files into this folder. They need to be in the same folder as adb and fastboot. Mac users, same thing, wherever that is, that's where these need to be. Now you should have already done this with the how to set up adb procedure, but just in case, okay, on the phone, we need to go to settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to about phone, tap that, scroll all the way down to the bottom of that, build number, keep tapping it, until it tells you you are a developer, then hit back, then tap on developer options, turn on OEM unlocking and USB debugging, and then plug the phone into the computer via USB. Okay, once that's plugged in, we're going to open that folder where ADB is again, and we're gonna hold shift down on the keyboard and right click a blank area in there, and then hit open command window here. And we're gonna type ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter and wait for the device to reboot into bootloader mode. Then we're gonna type fastboot OEM unlock and hit enter. When you do that, there'll be a warning on the phone. You can use the volume buttons to navigate and power to select, but we wanna select yes. So we hit that and wait for it to reboot. Okay, once that's done, it'll reboot, sort of. I also have the Android with his open stomach. That's how you know you're still in fast boot mode. And we're going to go back to our ADB folder and we're gonna double click the flash all dot bat. And I understand the risk, run anyway, and wait for it to finish. Now it should just reboot and you should be all set, but if you have an issue where it tells you something about the system image doesn't exist or system.img doesn't exist, we're gonna manually flash that. So we're going to right click the image shamu.zip file in here and hit extract here and wait for that to extract. Okay, again, we're gonna hold shift in a blank space and right click and hit open command window here. We're gonna type fast. Boot, flash, boot, space, boot, dot, IMG, hit enter. Then fast boot, flash, recovery, recovery, dot, IMG. Fast boot, flash, system, space, system, dot, IMG. Okay, after the system is done, which takes a while, um, we're gonna flash everything else just to make sure that it's all set. Now, it should have already flashed, for me, it flashed the bootloader and the radio already, but 
you want to flash those as well. I'm going to go in here and we're going to click on here and change this from that long name to just bootloader so that it becomes bootloader.img. Same thing for this guy. We're going to change him just to radio. And then fast boot, flash, bootloader, bootloader.img. And then fast boot, flash, radio, radio.img. And the last thing we're going to do is flash two more things, fast boot, cache, cache.img. And finally, flash user data, user data. Dot img. And once that's all done, fast boot, reboot, and hit enter. And then once it reboots, you'll go through the setup process. You can unplug the phone from USB, and you're running Android Marshmallow. Enjoy. And there you go. Hope that helped you guys. And if it did, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, and if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, and if you want to reach out to me on social networks, you can do so at dkogan or at the unlocker. And as always, thanks for watching.